Hi guys, it's David here from One Step at a Time and today we're going to be talking about how to add a favicon to your website, to your WordPress website. Um, and I'm not going to show you how to make a favicon because if you're looking to add it to your website you already have one or you know how to make one. So I created this one. You're going to need to create an image at least 260 by 260 pixels. Um, it can be bigger if you like, um, smaller won't work quite as well. Um, the reason for this is, um, I'm going to show you in a minute, we're going to use a website that will generate all the images, so it shows up well on tablets, iPhones, laptop, PC, whatever. So um, I'll just give you a quick look at it here. Um, there's two options for adding a favicon. You can do one is to get this, which is a fantastic plugin. It's favicon by Real Favicon Generator. Um, you can download that and add it to your plugins, or you can do it through your dashboard. You can go into plugins, add new, and just look for this favicon by Real Favicon Generator. And you can download that, and you can just follow the steps. That's probably the quickest and easiest way. Um, the other way I'm doing it, I'm doing it manually. So I don't like to have lots of plugins um, because it tends to slow down the load time of your website so I kind of keep it to a minimum if it's easy enough to work around so I'm going to show you how to do that and first thing you're going to need to do obviously as I said is to create your image and the next thing you just go is go to this it's realfavicongenerator.net I'll leave a link in the description and all you have to do is come down here to where it says select your favicon picture and just click on that Click on that and say open. It's just taking a little while. But as you, you can see, it's showing you what it's going to look like. So it's five and four iOS web clip. You can see it in the middle there. It's looking good. And then you can see it on this. If you wanted to create a larger image, you could. Um, I just stuck with the default they asked, which is 260. Um, you could make it 300 by 300 or 400. Uh, just make sure that it's it's square, so it's either 260, so you keep the aspect on it. And the, here it's saying you can pick the back colour of your tile, so you can change that too. You can have it as yellow, uh, depending on the colour of your actual favicon. You can change the background colour. And uh, just go down here then, I will place the favicon files, and we're going to do that. And then you just say generate your favicons and HTML code. And then when it's finished, it, it creates this. So you download the package. So you just click on that and say save. Should only take a couple of seconds. And then it's going to you're going to have to extract all these files, so just say extract them, you can extract them to where they are, so extract. Okay, and this is all the extracted files, and we're going to be uploading all of those through FileZilla into our root, so I'm just going to minimize that, if I close it down altogether, and then you want to copy this. So what we're going to do is we're going to press that and then it's copied to your clipboard. And then you're going to have to go to your website. And in here then under, once you've signed into your admin area, you want to come down here to appearance, click on editor. And then you're going to go down here to your header.php file. You want to click on that. It should open up in here and we're looking to put it into the head section so there's our open head tag and there's our closing head tag so we're looking to put it in here so you can put it in at the end of that or you can put it at the beginning it doesn't really matter so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put it in at the end hit enter and then i'm going to say Control v and then i'm going to come down here 
scroll down Sorry, scroll down with this one and just say update file okay file edit successfully and the next step then is to add um, all of the images so to your root so what we want to do is we we'll open up FileZilla going to open up FileZilla I um, just paused it for a second because I forgot I changed the directories that I extract all my files to so it didn't go to download so I had to go and have a look for them so I found they were in my documents so I'm just going to I've connected up to um, my server and then I want to go down here to the folder that we saved with all of our images in it and I want to just double click that and then I want to highlight all of these so and then I'm going to right click and say upload as you can see it's uploading them Okay guys, it's finished uploading all of the images and the XML file. So that should be done. So I'm just going to server disconnect to minimize that and bring up our website. So I'm just going to go back into DIY Dave. There you go guys, there's your favicon image edit. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below, hit the like button, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers, good luck.